You know who needs to understand you? You. I think a great way of doing that is getting yourself out. Exploring the world, talking to people. Something bigger that needs to be incorporated that is it's your creativity. You've got something going on. You've got inventions. You were a kid once. You played with other kids. You learned rules of games and then you made some games on your own. And you guys made up rules and you guys did some fun stuff. You know, my generation, me and a bunch of neighborhood kids, for a while there we had bicycles and we went places. Throw football around, frisbee around. We did a lot of things. New changed. I'm creating. I met a nice couple today at Starbucks. Went there, meet a gentleman today. We've been chatting quite a bit. He is an automations guy, no stuff. And I've got some inventions I've had brewing for decades and some of them are relatively newer. Um, Vermiculture aquaponics system I'm going to work on. I want to make the world a better place. That's all. I lead a modest life and that's by choice. Even if I won the lottery, I'd still lead a modest life because I find great joy in it. And there's a lot of stuff you can do living a modest life. Someone said to me years ago that if you can't upkeep with your upkeep, your upkeep will be your downfall. Southern gal, of course, got southern charm and southern uh, sayings that are pretty fun. I took this down the other day. I call it Revelation. I've had it out for about seven years. Let the weather kind of do its magic, kind of do its do its thing. Dust, spiderwebs, leaves, dirt, all kinds of things were on this thing. I kept a lot of it on there because that's the function of this. And I'm probably going to do a polyurethane on it to not protect it, so to speak. I've got a cross over here. Not sure what I'm gonna do with. I've had it for about five years, and I have some ideas. I want it to be bold. I want it to be a conversation piece. We're all artists. We were all kids once, and kids create things. You give them some paint, different colors, you give them some know-how with some tools, construction kind of tools, you know, teach them how to work on a, work with a drill, work with a hammer, work with some nails, uh, you know, they get more mature and more aware of their space, dexterity, teach them some more, you know, Tools that could, you know, be dangerous, you know, cutting tools and things like that. You know, teach them how to weld and all of that. It's part of the creative process. So I met uh, James today and there was an older couple sitting down in Starbucks. And a guy mentioned something about my shirt. All yeah, right, keep my shirt. Yeah. He goes, don't sell that shirt. I said, oh, no, I'm not going to sell my shirt. And I was wearing one of my, um, one of my... Shirts like this, ones I, you know, with paint. There's a spider trying to make a web of my water cup. So you can have some water. Thank you, Mr. Spider or Mrs. I don't know. I haven't really checked. I sized the guy up. He's there with his wife, and I gave him my shirt. He put it on. <laughs> Had a lot of my favorite colors on there. Cobalt blue. I got this, got this violet purple. It's kind of cool, right? But I like a little softer. Pastels have uh, spoke to me for a while.
Get out. See the world. Talk with people every day. Engage with them. There's a lot of darkness already in this life. You don't need to contribute by letting that stay inside. Turn off the news. There's nothing new in this world as far as the madness is concerned. Nothing. Nothing. When you're learning about yourself, you're exploring the world even better. When you're exploring the world even better, you learn more about yourself. When you learn more about yourself, hopefully you'll be a good person. And go out there and share with the world all your kindness, coolness. Here's my piece. I had to go back to it a few times. I had to think about it. Like I do with a lot of my friends' art. A lot of art I see in museums or wherever. I think about it. It's kind of interesting. Ooh, look at that. What does that say? Ooh, that's interesting. Ooh. Is there a message? Ooh. Okay, look at those materials. Oh, look at those colors. Okay, cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. And more oohs. And then all day long you go, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> right? <laughs> I like people to buy my art. I want to put them on the walls. Sculpting pieces. Learn how to weld yesterday a little bit. That's right. New thing I'm going to be doing. Sculpting. Living once on this planet, y'all. You're still a kid at heart. Everyone is a kid at heart. Somewhere. And you want to go into that place and talk about things that are cool. Creative stuff. Things that can bring us together in a good way. You got this new shirt. Then in due time, I'm going to have some pl some splatterings of, of paint. Whether it's with the brush, whether it's with the stick, whether it's on my hands, whether it's... another piece of art <laughs> in some way I'm not rambling I'm living a story I want you to live your stories too and I want you to share them because life it really is about stories isn't it now you want good ones You enjoy your night. Me and my spider friend. Gonna have some water. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>